Hello fantastic people, happy Monday. My name is Lauren, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna do a little art project for all you Harry Potter fans out there. It's gonna take about two hours. An hour of it is just waiting for something to dry, so it's really kind of a short process. This is gonna be a really simple way for you guys to do the houses, um, their, their crest. The one that you're gonna see today is the Hufflepuff one, but I also did the other houses. I'm gonna put a link in the description to all of these pictures so that you can just click on the link and then print them off for yourself. So you don't have to go look for them. If you want something different, all you have to do is just go on Google or go on Pinterest or whatever and type in the Hogwarts house you want and then just put Crest Silhouette and it'll show up for you. Um, and But like I said, I'll link it in the description for you. You're going to want to print these backwards or mirrored so when you put them on your canvas with the Mod Podge, they're going to be the correct way. Okay, what you're going to need for this one is about five paints and those colors are dandelion yellow, golden sunset, king's gold, vanilla ice cream, and black. If you're doing the Ravenclaw one you'll need a deep navy, primary blue, electric blue, blue bonnet, and the granite gray. If you're doing the Slytherin one you'll need English ivy green, tropical foliage, clover fields, lime sherbet, and the granite gray. If you're doing the Gryffindor one, you'll need Golden Sunset, King's Gold, Dandelion Yellow, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Tuscan Red. And those are the Apple Barrel paints, just acrylic paints that you can get at Walmart, really cheap. Your water cup, paper towels, Mod Podge, you do not have to get this big, huge container, I just have a lot of it. Um, they also sell a very small one for like $1.29 or something like that at Walmart. Your printout, a very large heavy book, and your canvas. I have the Artist Loft 8x10 board. Uh, this one is just like a thin board, as you can see here. It's really thin. Uh, paintbrush. You're going to need two of those sponges, and scissors, and your artist palette. Again, you can use a paper plate. And I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but this one's actually really, really easy to do. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to cut out your printout. Okay, so now that you have it cut out, you're just going to place it kind of on your canvas just to see where it's going to be. And then with a pencil, just take it and kind of mark the corners. And this will be where you paint the black. You don't want your black to overlap your painting because otherwise um, the design won't show up. So the black has to go just in the back there. All right, and now you're ready to paint. So you're gonna start in the middle with your vanilla ice cream and make like a little circle pattern. Next, you're gonna take your dandelion yellow, rinse out your brush, and do a circle around your first circle that you had in this color. And now you're going to move on to the king's gold. Take your golden sunset. Now that you have all of your colors painted, you're going to take one of your brushes, start in one of the corners, and just go back and forth. Go corner to corner. And then it should be all kind of blended together. And that's all you have to do for that part. Now you're going to take your black and paint your corners. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make sure that you're not getting too far on your black. And now you're going to let your canvas dry, and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, for the next step, you're going to take your printout that you had and your Mod Podge and a sponge. And for those of you who don't know what Mod Podge is, it's basically just a really thick glue. So you're going to take it and get your brush wet and then just start from the bottom and cover the whole front in Mod Podge. Just be gentle with it so you don't tear the page. Really make sure that you get every single inch of this paint covered though. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to gently lift up your paper. Just kind of set it to the side for just a second. You're going to want a wet paper towel on hand so that you can wipe up any excess glue really fast. 
and then just dry your surface really quick and take your canvas that is now dry you're going to flip your paper so that the back side is up you're going to line it up where you want it and then you're going to press down on your canvas making sure that all the bubbles get out it's really really important that all the bubbles get off of your drawing and if you mess up some of your painting from the previous step on your canvas it's not a big deal because you can always go back over it after the glue dries so now what you're going to do is you're going to take a big heavy book and place it on top and I wrapped it in plastic just because it is my textbook although my canvas is dry I want to make sure that no paint gets on it so that's an optional step that you can do but it's by no means required so now you just put it on top now you have an hour to an hour and a half to just do whatever you want to one hour later all right so after an hour to an hour and a half um, you're just gonna take off your heavy book so now you're going to wet some paper towel and uh, just bring it out you're gonna rub it over the printout that you had until the paper starts coming off and then just gently keep rolling and wetting that paper just be really gentle and make sure that you don't rub off the actual printout that you had at the bottom so you're just taking that top layer of paper off so that below it you should see your paper so now just do a little bit of a cleanup so now that you've got the outline, you're going to take your black ink and you're going to go around it. Once you finish this step, you're actually done with your painting, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more advanced thing that you can do to really liven up your painting a little bit more. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going over the inside with the different colors before. I have mixed together all the yellows that we had from the previous step to do the yellow and then the black just goes over the black. And this really brings it out. But like I said before, if you want to stop here, you're more than welcome to. Your painting is complete and you can see the painting and it looks really cool. Um, I personally just like to go over mine with paint again and I use it as more like a stencil and it's just kind of like coloring. Okay, so now that you've finished with the black, you're just going to mix all the colors of yellow that you used before together. So now I'm just taking the black and I'm going around any areas that, you know, need a little bit of touching up. And then I'm also just going around the edges of the canvas itself just so that all the uh, canvas edges are black as well. Alright, and here is the final product for the Hufflepuff one. And here are the finished products for the other three houses if you did those instead. Um, I hope that you enjoyed them. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!